I want to get right to charging. We'll go over the features in the end, okay? So what you do is, uh, comes with your charging cables. Comes with this little charger, okay? So you can go ahead and plug this in to your USB. And then right here, you would just plug in right here. And it takes about three hours to charge. And it's got outputs here. If you want to run your tablet or cell phone, you can charge anything like that on here too. Um, this is the part right here where we're going to go ahead and plug in. So we'll go ahead and plug in. It's square and round. It's kind of hard to mess it up, but plug that in. And we're ready to go. We got a full bar here, so we're ready to charge. All right. We'll take this off for now. We don't need this. Wrap it up. Put it back over here in this little case. Put it down in here. Instructions put in here. And I'll just keep an extra cord in here in case I'm using it as a charging a phone or something. But nice little case, you know. So we're gonna go ahead and go hook in. We're gonna go hook in and uh, start this car. So just to show you, turn it over, completely dead. Go ahead and lift this up. Okay, so we're going to set this here. It's my positive terminal. I'll go ahead and hook it on. Here's my negative terminal. We'll go ahead and hook that on. Since this battery is completely dead, you want to push this button right here. Okay, hold that all the way down. All right, so that's lit up now. You see it blinking. Now, give it a little bit of time because it's been sitting there for a bit. So you might have to wait. You might have to wait a good 30 seconds or so. But we're going to do this in live time. So you want to push this. All right, so now, since it's completely dead, you're gonna get a lot of juice from it, so. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and jump it. Just like that, that's how you do it. Okay, so let's go over the features real quick before we uh, sign off here. So here's your internal battery level. This little error light will come on if you hook these up on the wrong way and there's different polarity. This shows that the power's on, so it'll come on and off. That's just showing that it's on. Here's your boost LED. This light comes on when you push this button. This is when you do an override to get your boost to come on. So that's, you would push this button if your battery's totally dead. It'll give it the juice it needs to actually start it if it's dead. If you just hook this on, your battery's not completely low, it'll start probably. But if it's completely dead, push this button, make sure this is lit up, wait a few seconds, and then try to start your car. That's what I had to do. And so, and here's for your light. So you'd push this right here, light would come on. It's got different settings as you push it, like SOS, emergency, hazard, flashing, things like that. So it's good for if you're on the side of the road and you just want everyone to be aware. So we'll turn that off. Well, there you go. Uh, hope you liked the video.